the galactic alignment of the Milky Way and our position in it that is moving into the dark rift or the dark stardust matter of the Milky Way will feed us energy that upgrades us on this planet earthlings animals plants the earth itself it will force change it creates what we call the event the event is within us it is also within our solar system it is also for our planet and our star our star also will upgrade as will the binary binary star the dwarf star which in turn will release a micronova solar flash which in turn will cause the planet to change its pole directions crustal displacement could happen at this time magnetic pole shift will definitely occur in turn it can very well wreak havoc upon the planet and the humanity that lives upon it which also forces an upgrade for a lot of people change does not happen change does not occur unless it is forced this time we hope that change will occur because of free will choice alone the right and left hemisphere of your brain will be force merged into an automatic psychic ability and ease of achieve achievement of such abilities that will in turn drive some men mad while others gain gladness and gratefulness because they've already come to know thyself free will is at play always the dark forces are at play always this is the time for their reign to come to an end unless they being the worthy adversary and opponent that they are convince the masses otherwise to go their way to bend to their wishes and their desires through whatever type of manipulation they may try including fake alien landings alien takeovers known as project bluebeam also the guise of government and fema camp protection and the likes and this is why we are here the volunteers the light workers the star seeds to try to ensure that this message is spread far and wide in enough time to enough people to be enough to stop the dark forces from convincing you otherwise through fear manipulation or false promises it is time for you to wake up it is time for you to learn your true power through some means or another David Icke has told you about the reptilians control who the elite and the 1% really are 
and the control that is manipulated via the moon and Saturn. All of his findings are true. Aldous Huxley told you in A Brave New World. Orwell told you in 1984. And John Carpenter told you in They Live. All of these things, all of these messages are to be heeded and paid attention to. Quite often in life we will blame others for how we are treated. It is time for you to grow up, level up, and learn. The three things can change that. One, Teach people around you your clear, acceptable boundaries and stick to them. Two, honor those boundaries for yourself. Three, honor those boundaries for others. And accept that everyone has their own free will choice and life and journey to live. When you look at yourself, ask yourself, how do you speak, think, act, treat, and truly feel for yourself? And for others, ask yourself, how do you speak, think, act, treat, and truly feel for others? For the self, be willing to be kind, encouraging, supportive, loving, thoughtful, compassionate. And for others, do not have a lack of compassion or hatefulness or doubt or lack faith in them or lack trust. Do not be unwilling to let love and kindness in or unwilling of help and advice or the offering of help and advice. Be thoughtful, compassionate, loving, supporting of their goals, encouraging, kind, and willing to be all of the above. Ask yourself, what are your morals and values, and do you honestly honor them? Do you allow others around you that do not or have a lower standard? It is time to correct self-love or the love from others through behavior and habit and words. And end the judgment, end the negative thinking. Understanding from a new perspective. Being fair and balanced, not in under or over giving, or under or over standing. Patience, compassion, forgiveness of self and others. Keeping your word to them and to yourself honoring them and you. Feeling deserving, feeling worthy, feeling enough, feeling loved. It is time for clear communication. So I say to you now, May our minds work together to find mutual understanding. May I see, may I see you true. 
May our words reveal more than they obscure or hide. Most of all, may our minds, eyes, and tongues be guided by our hearts and the language of love that's far older than that of words exceed our greatest expectations.